Carlos Thomas Jr., is he your next Mr. Olympia? And can he win it in 2023? Plus, I compare him to Hunter Labrada and Andrew Jacked. What's up, desktopers? Xavier Wills here for Desktop Bodybuilding, and we are back for another video. And today we're reviewing the footage and photos from Carlos Thomas's guest posing over the weekend at the Victor Martinez Legend Championships. And wow. That is the first thing that comes to mind, and is this guy a future Mr. Olympia? Not just in the future, but potentially in 2023. I'm going to answer that if he has a chance of potentially winning it. And we've got to remember, this is four weeks out of a contest where he's set to compete against Andrew Jacked and Hunter Labrada. So we've got a photo comparing those two guys to Carlos Thomas Jr. as well, and it may shock you guys. So let's go through the photos first up. So this front double bicep, I mean, look at that. This guy has no weak poses, by the way, and we will get to those back shots as well because Tarek Elgindi asked, Carlos, do you have a back? He answered that in this guest posing. So the front double bicep, it's a pretty damn complete pose. Now, we know Carlos is slightly shorter than these guys, but when you put them side by side, and you'll see that a little bit later, he stacks up, absolutely. And also, with the guys that are at the top of Mr. Olympia right now, like Derek Lunsford, Hardy Chupin, and also Nick Walker. That's the top three from last year. He matches up very well. And height-wise, if he's shorter, he's not much shorter. So front double bicep looks fantastic. Front lat spread looks even better. It is completely filled out. You can see the back there poking out like crazy. The legs are on another planet. That's where he might actually get a sort of upper hand on Derek Lunsford. Then we move to the side chest. Now the legs are even more impressive from the side. That hamstring hangs so damn low. And the amount of thickness this guy has on his upper body is crazy. And the level of muscularity is crazy as well. So just super impressed with that side chest. It has to be literally in instantly. As long as he comes in condition, it's going to be one of the best side chests in the world, if not the best. Now we get to the back. Carlos Thomas Jr. has a back. This is awesome to see because that was the one query and I had people when I did my last video where Carlos came out on Olympia TV and was hugely confident. He was saying it's happening in terms of winning his pro debut against the likes of Andrew Jackson, Hunter Labrada. You know, Tarek asked him, do you have a back? He said, yes, he does. And he's not lying. It looks like Carlos Thomas Jr. has a back, and that's what he's going to need if he is going to be a potential challenger to the Mr. Olympia in 2023 because the likes of Derek Lunsford up there, great back. Hardy Chupin up there, great back. Nick Walker, great back. So because he has the same sort of stature, he can't get wiped from the back and then have a chance of winning that Olympia. Well, I don't think so anyway. Although his other shots are so impressive, he could win just about all the other ones if he comes in in great condition. Now let's move to the side, side tricep. I mean, the lower body is absolutely wild. As long as he dials that in hard enough, then this shot will be another great one for him as well. Tight midsection, huge arms, big chest, even the traps come into play on that pose. Absolutely wild. And you can see that variation there where he's got veins all through his chest and he looks a bit watery at the moment. We know this guy has ulcerative colitis, so I don't know if, you know, later in the prep when there's more stress on his body, if that could become an issue. Hopefully not. I'm praying he's fully on top of that right now and there's no flare-ups or anything like that for Carlos. And the most muscular. Look at this. This is absolutely wild. This guy is completely stacked. I don't think there's many guys in the world, if any, in the world that can beat that most muscular if this is dialed in. Now, this is all a proviso because we haven't seen Carlos inside out before. And look at his waist on that as well. It is super tight. The abs look dialed in. The legs are crazy. The delts are crazy. The chest is, you know, he's got like a little bit of separation between his pecs, but I don't think that's going to be an issue. They look pretty damn hard. They look full enough. And the arms are huge as well. The traps are massive. Like he's missing nothing. This guy even has calves as well. So there is not one body part on Carlos Thomas Jr. that is lacking. And the dude even hits a victory pose as well, just to top it all off and impress me even more. 
So I'm going to run some of the footage now so you guys at least can see and a little bit later in the video while I talk a bit more about Carlos. But I am just so crazy impressed by this guest posing. This is almost reminiscent of a Derek Lunsford guest posing at the Pittsburgh Pro. Uh, when was that? Last year? When it basically prompted him to go from 212 to the Opens. And I think this will go down as one of the iconic guest posings as well, which really announces Carlos Thomas Jr. as an Olympia contender because we saw Derek Lunsford go from that guest posing to placing second in the world. Are we going to see the same from Carlos Thomas Jr. at the 2023 Mr. Olympia? Now, he hasn't punched his ticket to that contest yet, so it might be a little bit unfair assuming that he will beat Andrew Jackson, beat Hunter Labrada, who could definitely be at their all-time best as well. But let's look at this photo. So this was posted up by Who Is The Best BB and also courtesy of Muscular Power on uh, IG. And look at this. Now, obviously, the two photos, one of Andrew Jacked on the left, that's from the Arnold Classic, I believe, in 2023. And the one on the right of Hunter Labrada, I assume is from last year's Mr. Olympia, where he placed, I think it was around 7th or 8th. So... Not their best packages. Now, Andrew Jack, you could argue that's his best package or close to it. He's a little bit flat at that contest. I think it'll be bigger for the Texas Pro coming up in four weeks' time. But just say you add a little bit more mass to Andrew Jack's physique and the same condition. Just say you improve Hunter Labrada a little bit from that package. I mean, you look at Carlos, though, and this is scaled as well. Like, even his feet, they're a little bit higher than the other guys. So, he's you know, it makes him you know, appear a little bit taller than he is. So even lower his feet a tiny bit more. I mean, it doesn't make any difference. And, you know, you can tell it's to scale. Like this is actually done very, very well. So this photo alone is enough to scare me for these other guys. And Andrew Jack may be competing in multiple contests because I thought this might be a walkthrough for Andrew Jack if Hunter Labrada wasn't actually going to do the Texas Pro because Hunter's doing the Tampa Pro in two weeks from now. So I'm assuming Hunter's going to be a favorite going to that. He will likely win it. Andrew Jack's competing two weeks after that, and so in four weeks' time. I think Andrew thought that he's going in there, he's going to win it, and go into the Olympia and be one of the challenges to the title. And then you look at this photo, and you go, well, if Andrew Jack is a potential top five or challenger to the Mr. Olympia, and then you look at this with Carlos Thomas Jr., and there are no weak poses on Carlos Thomas Jr., then that just is completely mind-blowing. So guys, let me know what you think in the comments. Is Carlos Thomas Jr. a potential Mr. Olympia? Not only in the future, but in 2023. Granted, he qualifies. Never one query I do have is, will Carlos Thomas Jr. be conditioned enough? If he can dial in this package, come in ultra sharp, ultra shredded, there is no doubt in my mind that he will probably win that Texas Pro, which sounds almost insulting to Hunter Labrada and Andrew Jacked. But I am that blown away by Carlos Thomas Jr. Now, that is not a given. Because we did see, as you can see on the screen right now, this is Carlos Thomas Jr. in 2021, I believe it is, when he turned pro and won the overall, I believe it was at the NPC in Nationals, where he looked really good. He beat the likes of Justin Shire there and, and yeah, looked fantastic. But he wasn't ultra shredded. He didn't have the back that he appears to have now. But this guy's made really impressive gains. You can see him back here in 2016 and the progress he made there. Seems like he's made that same progress once again, um, going from you know a guy that wins an overall contest and turns pro to making his pro debut and potentially blowing everyone away, including top Mr. Olympia competitors. Anyway, guys, I encourage you to click on one of the videos in the description below about Carlos Thomas Jr. I have one where I sort of did it a little bit sort of documentary style about Carlos's life, his supporters, um, his potential in the future, obviously before seeing this crazy guest posing. And another one where Carlos Thomas Jr. speaks openly and honestly about his confidence on winning that 2023 Texas Pro and where he's at, I suppose, health-wise and how he is going into this Texas Pro in four weeks' time. And uh, if you did enjoy this video, give the video a thumbs up, smash that like button, also subscribe and hit the notification bell button. That way you'll be notified of every video that goes up from myself, Xavier Wills at Desktop Bodybuilding. So for Xavier Wills, this is Desktop Bodybuilding and we are out.